And now the issue of the proposed Ibom Tower in Lagos. The question about that, primarily from what we've mined from social media and comments, is first about the viability of the project. There are, there are three sets of people. Some people who insist that such a project is absolutely useless, number one. Other people say that it is useful, but it amounts to capital flight of taking acquirable money to Lagos. Some other people are asking for the, for the specifics of the project and how viable it will be. Is there any other strand of doubt that are not among those three? So let me start from those who say that it is absolutely useless. The first thing is that we envisage, and we have always, from the days of southeastern Nigeria to Cross River State to Akwaibom, we have been blessed with leaders who kept thinking that a day will come that Abuja will have no money to share. That is why, if you remember, in southeastern state and old Cross River State, you recall that we were big on industrialization. And if all those industries were working today, Akwaibom would never have been referred to as a civil service state. The ceramics, the Quar steel, the Quar river, all the things we had. We have had to, well, Umono is not the first governor of Akwaibom who is doing futuristic thinking. We have been blessed with leaders who always thought about a future without oil, a future without federal allocation. Immediately you're faced with a future without federal allocation, you now begin to think of internally generated revenue. And when you think of internally generated revenue, the easiest thing to do is to raise taxes. But when you think of what is happening in Kenya, you would know that taxes being raised is not way to go when the economy is not doing well. Because you're going to kill the small businesses that are trying to thrive. Today, people who sell things have to call their suppliers before they can give you a price. And if they give you a price, you come back after two hours, they have to reconfirm the price again before they can sell to you. That is not an economy you tax those people. And so the governor is saying that we already have assets. And coming from where we are coming from, remember that the industries we had until today, you have the champion brewery still standing as a legacy of that thinking process. Now, in Obongata's time, Chief Akbabio's time, Udo Emmanuel's time, government, especially during Obongata's time, during the military, Obongata's time and Chief Akbabio's time, had property, real estate property in Lagos and Abuja. As we speak, there are about 10 property in choice areas that had been acquired with the resources of acquired state by previous administrations. One of those property was that which the Lagos Lodge was built on. We also have equivalent number in the Federal Capital Territory. Now, the, the options available will now be either to sell those property or to convert this property, these assets which are currently dormant into money-making instruments. Some of the property in question, we are still battling for the title to revert to Akwabu State Government. But we know that this property will paid for with resources from the State Government. What this administration is doing, thing or from what the immediate past administration did, is to say that rather than these assets lying fallow, can we put them to productive use? These property are in the prime areas of Lagos. And there is no denying the fact that the Lagos real estate market is one of the biggest real estate markets in Africa, apart from Johannesburg. And therefore, going to number two, which is saying that it is capital flight to take our money and develop a property in Lagos. The truth is that this property is developed is intended to be developed for commercial purposes, where you have 19 floors of luxury apartments. And when you play in the real estate market in Lagos and Abuja, people buy real estate off plan, meaning that immediately the plan is approved. 
People begin to pay for it before you put a block there. If you see how a co Atlantic is selling, there is no part of Nigeria that a square meter is as expensive as it is on the island of Lagos. There is no part. And in some instances, a co Atlantic is selling in dollars. And the state government is saying, look, a future anticipating insufficient funds from the federal government, a future without oil, would mean that Aquarium has to earn revenue. We cannot earn the revenue by milking our people. We now need to get to a point where we can earn revenue from investments. Urban Attack did such investments in Econet. And when we divested from Econet, Aquarium State benefited from it. Imagine that we had not divested when we did, and those shares were still on today. Imagine the huge revenue that would have been accruing daily or monthly to the state. Therefore, it is forward thinking to begin to do Ibom Tawa in Lagos, to begin to bring down the Aquarium House, which is in Central Business District, and in its place put a three-star hotel there, so that the state can earn revenue. These two real estate markets, in Abuja today, if there is a convention, which happens almost all the time, you will seldom find a decent hotel. If any political party does a convention, or on a, an average day, you cannot compare the hotel prices in Lagos and Abuja. It means that there are markets there, and we can reap from it. Are there examples that these have been done before? They are global best practices. Most of the high-rise buildings in New York City are not owned by Americans. They are owned by other countries who are making money from New York City, from London, and are using that money back home. So countries are doing what we are doing. And we are thinking of getting into a market that can yield returns. And these are not luxury buildings for the governor or the commissioners. These are luxury buildings that will be sold. There are business facilities that will be there. There are meeting rooms. There are different things that will be there that will earn revenue every time for the state government. What are the... Now, so going to number three, which is what are the statistics? The full business plan of this will be made available. But in the interim, that project from start to completion is estimated to last for 24 months. It means that before the governor goes for re-election, the result of this would have come. And when he is going for re-election, you have an opportunity to check whether what he started has worked. And therefore, there is absolutely no fear. There will be no bank loans obtained. The state will not go into financial commitments that will be injurious to the bottom line of the finances of the state. Are we handling existential issues like hunger, housing? The answer is yes. Grace homes are there. The compassionate homes are being given. What they are doing in AKKs and agriculture is there. But must we think about the future so that we can look at the issue of sustainable development in using today's resources without putting tomorrow's generation at risk? This is one of those strategies. And the governor, under his leadership, the administration is committed to converting dormant assets into revenue yielding instruments. That is the intention, that is the rationale, that's the reason behind the 19 story building in Lagos.